Is it just me or has this week felt like the longest year of your life? Hey, I'm Dr. Rob with your two minute tip this week designed to make you feel better and live better. I wanted to do a quick shout out to our sponsor. This week's two minute tip is brought to you by Lysol. Um, so we're one week into a state of emergency. Everybody's in self-isolation. Uh, it feels like crazy times right now. Uh, there's like a million things that are out of our control. So really I'm just trying to choose the few things in life that are in our control. So this week I wanted to talk about the positive side of what's happening. Now I don't want to say that um, to make light of the situation or downplay the severity or the significance of it. Um, but in times like this, we have a choice. We can choose to use this time to make ourselves feel better and build ourselves up, or we can choose to make this time to make ourselves feel worse. Now you get to choose which one aligns with the person that you want to be. Now, when life is put on hold, it provides a number of opportunities um, and it's time to kind of reflect right and so what are the what are the good things about uh the, these crazy times that we're all going through one of the, my favorite things to be honest is the constant memes i'm not gonna lie to you i've never been on instagram so much in my entire life uh and half the time they do make me smile uh in terms of the quarantine 15 and all that kind of funny stuff right um the other time it, the other big things it really forces us to slow down right we've uh, are constantly busy in life rushing to this appointment and trying to get this done and and this has literally forced us to do nothing has forced us to sit back and i think as the next weeks go on we're going to reflect even more and realize uh there there's going to be some good out of it as we do slow down and kind of spend time with each other uh with family and the most important people that you've chosen to be uh, to be quarantined with right as one of the memes says you're either going to be uh divorced or pregnant. So we'll hopefully for the best, everybody keeps getting along, right? Um, uh, one of the big things that for me, I've realized that I need to create new habits, new routines, right? So if you are uh, forced home or you're working from home, it's important to create those new routines for yourself so that you don't just constantly work or constantly do nothing, right? So we kind of pick a couple things every single day that we are have to do. Uh, you can see the snowman or what used to be an awesome snowman in the background. It was huge. It lasted about a day before it melt, but we were constantly getting outside uh, uh, every single day to make sure we're doing that and keep taking care of our mental health and taking care of each other. The other cool thing we see is the immense amount of kindness and compassion for each other. Uh, so keep doing that. Keep being kind to each other. Keep taking care of each other. Uh, these are the times that bring us together as a society uh, and it makes all the difference in the world. So keep helping your neighbors out. Keep helping your friends out. I just saw somebody drive by, stand outside a friend's house with huge signs that said, we miss you and then keep driving, right? So there's fun things that you can do like that to brighten up your day, brighten up other people's day and uh, take care of each other. So remember, uh, you guys do have the choice. You can use this time to make yourself feel better or you can use the time to make yourself feel worse. So you choose, uh, drop us a line on Instagram, Facebook. What are you doing to make yourself feel better? And uh, if you do want help with that, we do have our virtual fit club, which is designed specifically like that, where we're helping people create new habits, get uh, avoid the quarantine 15, and really just take charge of their uh, health and fitness in crazy times like this, okay? Have a good weekend.